Hello and welcome back. Now, before we get into Thursday's lesson, I just want to encourage you to leave your questions and comments in the comments section below, or you can send us an email. Okay, we come to Thursday's lesson, and it's time to go home. But first, the author of the lesson draws our attention to the fact that after 14 years of hard labor under Laban, not once does Jacob fight back, nor does he start a rebellion or even confront his uncle. After all, Jacob knows that he's being cheated. So why put up with it? Maybe it has something to do with another promise that God made to Jacob, that one day God would bring Jacob home. Only this time, instead of trying to give God a hand with keeping his word, Jacob has learned to wait on God. And one day, well, the waiting pays off. God shows up and he tells Jacob, I'm the God of Bethel, you know, the God you saw at the top of the ladder? I'm that God, and I'm here to tell you it's time to go home. Now, according to Ellen White, Jacob would have gladly packed his bags and returned home. The only thing that kept him from doing so was the fear of what Esau would do to him. Now, Jacob realized that if he didn't leave, Laban and his sons might kill him just to steal the wealth that God had given to Jacob. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Jacob's been living with Laban in Padam Aram for 20 years. For 14 years, he had worked for Laban, keeping his agreement in exchange for Laban's two daughters. Then, another six years had escaped and elapsed before Jacob finally, well, made the break for home. During this time, 11 sons and one daughter were born to Jacob. It's time to leave. This town's become too small for both Jacob and Laban. Besides, Jacob is anxious to see God provide for his family. He was looking forward to the promised blessing of a promised land. At any rate, you've got to hand it to Jacob. He waited until God moved him. It took him 20 years, oh, but Jacob had learned to put his trust in the God who met him at Bethel. Again, that's our nugget for today. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.